You're alive? My legs are a little sore. We walked like eight miles. It was ridiculous. Did you expect to be alive right now? Uh, alive, yeah. Although, I didn't expect, like, expect there to be, like, more racial tension than there actually was. Like, I didn't expect, like, the African black people or Hispanic people to talk to us as much. And they talked to us the most compared to the white people that we saw. So, that was a little bit shocking. Um, kind of also expected, like, more people to be there. Like, but I guess a lot of them, especially at night, are in the missions and stuff like that in the hostels. So, that yeah, obviously makes sense. But uh, for the people who are out on the street, it's just, it's just a real bummer to see them just walking around, you know, living on cardboard. You know, I, we get to go back and, you know, sleep on mattresses with blankets and pillows and stuff like that. And it just puts things in perspective that on a daily basis they have to sleep on cardboard. And if they get a blanket and a pillow, they're just, it's just, they're, it's just their lucky day. It's just a blessing for them. So, it's just a total different whole different atmosphere than what you know, most American, 98% of Americans are even used to, so it was definitely diff definitely good during the experience. I was really excited about it. Kind of hesitant at first, but I'm really glad it came down. I mean, it's, it's something that you have to do. You know, it's maybe not have to do, but it's definitely a great experience um, being able to interact with them, especially they're like the friendliest people I know. I've never met anyone more friendly. You know, most Americans are, you know, standoffish so and won't say anything like that, but these people, when they have nothing in their lowest, lowest state, their lowest of low and their lowest states of, lowest state of life, they're just like, so, in a sense, like, personable and friendly to you, you know? You walk by and say hi, or, you know, what's going on, and like that. But most people, that, most people who actually have money or, you know, are surviving, you know, don't do that, you know? So it's just really weird. Yeah. Um, so, so what is your favorite moment of the night? Uh, favorite moment? Yeah, you know, I was really glad finally towards the end that when people started talking to us a little more. Um, when we first started, you know, yeah, we didn't meet a lot of people because we walked around the edge of Skid Row. But um, as you know, as we got closer towards the end of us leaving, you know, more people talked to us. Richard. You know, Richard talking to us, uh, Reno, when we first like first got out there talking to us. Um, unfortunately, we didn't, you know, unfortunately we didn't get a lot of you know people talking to us on the camera. But we did get Richard, you know, we could come back and talk to him, and he's more um, accessible to talk to. So that's really, really good. God definitely provided in that area. Um, it was just really good to like to sit there and hear, or not sit there, or stand there and hear their stories. You know, kind of see what their lives are going about right now and what the sense they've gone through and with Richard see how he's trying to you know help as well you know doing different aspects of trying to help as well um, with the people and uh, so it was kind of good to hear it was great to hear his stories and where he's coming from you know especially from Louisiana it's a yeah. totally different state of you know totally different style of life for him so that's probably the, the best aspect You mentioned uh, Reno. I, I know that we're hearing a lot about Richard, but I want to hear a little bit about, about Reno. Reno was Reno. I'll, I'll say he was tight. Um, <laughs> well, he was. You know, he was the first person who talked to us. You know, he walked up. You know, no hesitation. He didn't ask for money. Didn't ask us for anything. You know, he said he was looking for his ride. He was waiting for his ride. Ride was late, so he was cool. He shook us, our, took all our hands, remembered all of our names. You know, took him, took him a few, you know, a few couple of moments or whatever to finally remember. But he got every single one correct, so that was really kind of, you know, people don't usually remember names like that. So it was really good to see. Um, I mean, he was, you know, he was just friendly and you know talked to us and you know, uh, so so hopefully like when you guys come back down here, when we all come back down here, that maybe we'll meet up with again and you know we we'll meet up with him again and be able to. Uh, maybe just, Spend a few more moments with him, talking to him. Where he's not so busy, you know, waiting for his ride or whatnot. So. Right.